not the most picturesque of locations. I've stopped at a local big mall type thing, but I promised I'd show you the car and I want to show you it as soon as possible. Uh, in case you hadn't guessed it, you haven't been following me on social media, it is a 2018 Kia Stinger. Uh, specifically, this is the Stinger GT2. This is the top of the line model. Now, if you're used to German cars, Korean cars can be a bit of a breath of fresh air when it comes to the spec sheet. You've got five trim levels to choose from. Can't recite them off the top of my head. They're different in the USA than they are in the UK. Now over here, you've got a choice of just the two engines, the two liter four cylinder, or the 3.3 liter V6 as I have here. Now GT2 is pretty much equivalent to our GTS in the UK. It's got everything. Like, it's crazy. I mean, this, this car is a serious, serious piece of kit. So, I mean, I think the styling from the outside, I'm gonna put lots and lots of pictures and stuff up. You're gonna see loads of this car over the coming weeks. So don't, don't worry if this is not too much of an in-depth thing. It's got hints of Jag, got hints of German car, but there's still a bit of Asian funk about it, which I think is really, really nice. Um, very well styled, very cool. So, I mean, this thing is, honestly, if you said to me you can pick any car to do this journey, and this is, seriously, this is what I would have picked. And I am incredibly grateful to Dan and the team at Kia UK and James and the team at Kia USA for sorting this out you guys are legends now i've already reviewed this car uh, on the channel previously so if you want to see that video go back and watch that and that was in very different conditions that was in england in the winter now this has a uh, red leather interior which is pretty cool it's loaded with tech so you've got heated and air conditioned seats you've got sunroof you've got nav you've got bluetooth uh, eight speed zf gearbox heated steering wheel like all, all sorts of toys, also got his keyless entry, uh, it's got the smart tailgate, it's electric tailgate, and loads of room in here by the way, so this is another reason this is a very good car for me, I mean I love getting something like a Corvette or something when I'm in America, but they're just not practical. This thing has loads of storage space, so I got a massive suitcase and two bags in here, it's awesome, you've got a Harman Kardon sound system, which actually sounds really really good, because they do vary. Uh, I got the little spec sheet here, so for those of you watching in Europe, you're not familiar with these sheets, like every car in the States has these sheets and they show you what you've got. So this, this exterior color is silky silver. Uh, my favorite is the high chroma red that they do. It's a really striking, really sexy red. Very, very nice color. Now this car, uh, the, the retail price is $52,300. Now I spoke to a few people about this and, and you know, I feel very sorry for Kia, actually, a lot of the time, because I've had a number of people, there's $52,300 here, about £40,000 in the UK. Big, big, big difference between this car and the UK version. This is an all-wheel drive, so in the USA you can spec it with all-wheel drive. In the UK, rear-wheel drive only. Um, people have said to me, like, oh man, like, 50, 50,000 bucks for a Kia? You know, oh man, and, and people say exactly the same thing in the UK. Oh, how can you justify forty thousand pounds on a on a Kia? Like, don't don't think of it as, as fifty thousand dollars on a Kia. Think of it as fifty thousand dollars for that. That is worth fifty thousand dollars all day long. It's an epic, really, really nice car, and it's a GT car. It's a GT car. It is not a sports car. It is not a sort of executive car. It is a GT car. So when we did the press launch for this thing, or not the press launch, sorry, the press launch for the four cylinder I was on, um, but I drove the V6 at the same time, they tell you in, the, in their official press release, they tell you this is not a sporty car. This is not designed to go and tear up a track at the weekend. This is designed to get you from point A to point B in style, comfort, and at a very good pace. And that's exactly what I need for this journey. This is just such a nice place to be in. It smells premium. Yeah, I've been putting pictures up on Instagram and getting people to ask me their questions. You know, a lot of people come back to me and said stuff like, you know, how does it really feel? Does it really feel worth price tag? Like, yes, yes, absolutely, 100%, yes. I mean, the door shuts nice, like, you know, okay, I mean, some of these switch gears, like, they're okay, but, you know, handles that are nice. It's just everything in here, it's good. I mean, you know, are there issues with it? Yeah, of course there are. It is quite thirsty. 
which is less of a problem over here than it is in the UK. Um, I wish that you could make this thing uh, disappear. Um, the car has other cool features. So it's got Sirius XM, which for those of you watching in Europe is a satellite radio service that they have in the States. You sort of subscribe to it. So you pay 10 to $20 a month, depending on the pack you choose. And you get loads and loads of ad-free radio stations, which is great because the radio stations over here, I mean, they're wonderful. They're hilarious. Um, my favorite one is uh, KLOS. Uh, which is a Los Angeles sort of you know, Californian rock radio station. And they're brilliant, but there's so many adverts, it's a bit nuts. Um, so to have the, the commercial free radio and you get the sports and all sorts of stuff on here, so on, on some of the packages, so that's a really cool service. And of course, because I'm traveling all the way around the country or around the east side of it, I can listen to the same radio station if I want. Uh, my radio station of choice so far has been uh, Hair Radio or whatever they call it. Um, uh, and because, you know, I love my old hair metal type stuff. So I've been listening to that. That's, that's great. Um, it's got drive modes and things as it's customary these days. So you've got like Smart, Comfort, Eco, um, Sport, and you can customize one as well. I have it set basically to everything Sport, bar the suspension, which I leave in Comfort because the roads out here are atrocious. Um, loads of room, loads of room in the back and the front. Um, fully electric seat, which has got electric adjustment for everything. It's got adjustable posters as well, so it grips you nicely. It's just, it's a seriously well put together piece of kit i mean congratulations to to kia for, for for bringing this out and i really really want to continue with this i mean kia you you need to keep an eye on kia you know that they they've made this so the next thing to make really is like a proper sports car and do not put it past them to do that and i think when they do it they'll do it very very well um you know, so you're going to be seeing a lot more of this car over the next couple of weeks because obviously it's coming with me everywhere I go. And I'll also want to be talking to the, the people out here and getting their opinion uh, on it. I mean, one of my favorite things about this little spec sheet here, which is quite unusual, it actually tells you down here um, parts, content, and where it comes from. So how much of this car is US or Canadian parts? 2%. And foreign parts, 87% Korean. Bit, bit odd that, but... America. So um, I'm actually might, I might pop off to the cinema now because that's a um, it's a tradition for me to go to the cinema when I'm in America, and I'm still a little bit tired from traveling yesterday, so I need to have a bit of a relax. So yeah, catch you guys soon.